Hi everyone, it's Olivia Dunlop, Cornwall Council's Wellbeing Advisor and today we're going to do another 30 ways in 30 days workout. Um, today's one is going to focus on upper body. So the other day I did lower body, today it's all upper body movements um, with very little equipment involved and uh, it'll be really good for strengthening all the muscles in our sort of shoulders and arms and a little bit in our back as well. But before we get there, we've got a very quick warm up. Um, we've got four exercises that we're going to do 30 seconds of each. We're going to do it two times through and that'll be a nice little four minute warm up just to get our body moving, get ourselves warm before we go into uh, the main part of this arms workout. So starting off, we're going to do 30 seconds of arm circles. So if you want to do big shrug, big arm circles, we're going to go one way for 15 seconds. So I'm going to go forward for 15 seconds and then we're going to go in the opposite direction for 15. So I'm going opposite direction now, big stretch through those arm circles. Even knees, you might be getting a little bit of a burn. Let's just warm them up. Brilliant. So 30 seconds there. We're now going to do bum kicks and punches. So we're going to do 30 seconds on the spot, side to side, kicking your bum with your foot and then punching out the front at the same time. So not too much involved here. Just go for like a little dip before you bring up that foot. Like I say, 30 seconds. And then we're gonna move on to our next warm up exercise. So brace your core as you're doing this, keeping that tummy nice and tight. Trying to kick that bum, that um, foot up as high as your bum as possible. Brilliant. Next, we're going to do a chest stretch and a little bit of calf stretch at the same time. So 30 seconds, we're going to put one heel forward and at the same time, open up our chest by putting our arms nice and wide. Heel to the ground, toe point to the sky as that foot goes forward to get that little bit of a calf stretch. And you're going to sort of sit into it slightly as well should feel that opening in your chest. Brilliant. So stop there. And then we're just going to do some high knees uh, type raises. So we're going to pull our knee as high as we can. And at the same time, bring our arms down to meet them. 30 seconds here. And then we're going to do those four movements again. We'll all be nice and warm by that point. Keep driving that knee up. Keep bringing those hands down. Perfect. 10 more seconds. And then we're going to go back to arm circles. Five seconds. Brilliant. Now back to arm circles. So we're going to go big circles forward. Nice deep breaths. Make sure we've got enough space for those arm circles. And the other way now, backwards. Or if you were going backwards a minute ago, go forwards now. Keep going. If you feel them getting a little bit of teeth, just shake it off for a second. Brilliant. And then we've just got those butt kicks, punches. 30 seconds here. Try and get that heel up nice and high. Trying to tap that bum with your heel and a nice little explosive punch out the front as well to target that upper body at the same time. 10 more seconds. Brilliant, and into those chest stretches and calf stretch at the same time. Sticking that heel forward. Toes facing the sky and hold it for a second at the bottom. Feel that stretch in your heel, in your calf, sorry. Also that stretch in the chest as we open up our chest. Brilliant. And just high knee pulls to finish. 30 more seconds. And then we're going to move on to the main part of the workout. Should be nice and warm and ready to hit 
a little bit of an upper body circuit. Keep going. Five more seconds. And rest there. We're going to move on to the main workout now. So hopefully now you're feeling a little bit warmer and are ready to go into this main body of the workout. So all you're going to need for this is two tin cans essentially. If you find that this is a little bit too easy or you have got something a little bit heavier indoors, you know, feel free to use what you've got. I know some people have um, some small handheld weights that you might want to use. But you know, these are for people that potentially haven't got any kit indoors. Uh, tin, tin cans are always a good way to go. Just make sure you've got the same weight. So I've gone for two tins of beans. And what we've got is um, a load of arm exercises, which don't seem particularly bad at first. Um, but as you go along, you just tend to get quite fatigued when, when it comes to upper body workouts. So we're going to do uh, 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. So you're going to get plenty of rest in this. Um, just hitting all different muscles in that in that upper body section. So we're going to start in 20 seconds and our first movement is going to be a side raise. We're going to stand up nice and tall, our feet just under sort of um, our hips and all we're going to do is raise our arms up to the side and lower. So this will be our first movement. We're going to go in five seconds. Three, two, one, go. So raising up, you can pause at the top if you want and lower. What you want to make sure is that you're not just dropping your arms, you want to make sure you are fighting gravity on the way back down. Like I say, you can go a little bit heavier if you're finding that tin cans are too easy for you. But we have got three rounds of this, so we'll see how we're feeling in that second and third round. Brilliant work. So everything else is nice and still. It's just our arms lifting and lowering. We've got five more seconds and then we're going to get 20 seconds of rest. Brilliant, rest there. So we've got 20 seconds of rest and then our next movement is a front raise. So it's the same sort of thing, but instead of going out to the side, we're going to come in front of us. So we're just going to raise it straight up in front of us and lower. So we've got five seconds till we start this movement. I'll show you what it looks like from the side. Three, two, one, go. So 40 seconds of front raises. So my back is nice and straight. I'm not overarching my back because the weight's so heavy that I can't get it up. My bum is nice and tight, legs are tight. I'm just raising it, just to sort of chest level really. And again, no rush on these. You know, if you are going light, you ideally want to keep the movement slower because it's more time that your muscles will be under that tension. Otherwise you might find it a little bit too easy if you go too fast. Brilliant, three, two, one, and rest. So we've got 20 seconds off, and then we're gonna go for a tricep extension, which essentially we're gonna have these tins of uh, whatever you've got over the top of your head, and uh, we're gonna extend. So I'm gonna come onto the floor to show you this, so it's in shot, but you stay standing for this. You're gonna put arms overhead, straight, right, you're gonna make a start for 40 seconds, and all you can do is bend at the elbow and extend. Bend at the elbow and extend. So this is behind your head. You guys remain standing for this. I'm just coming to kneel so that you can see me within the frame. And we've got 40 seconds here. Again, all that is moving is our elbow joint. And as our elbow joint bends and extends, then our hands come down behind our head. But everything else, nice and tight, nice and straight. Keep going, nearly there. Three, two, one, and rest. Brilliant. After that, we've got arm circles. So it's what sort of what we did start with, but we're going to go for smaller arm circles. You can use the tins still, or you can go without, because um, they are even challenging on their own. You can go in three, two, one, and we're just to do small circles. So just pulsing. And actually just doing these without anything, without holding on to anything, can be challenging enough. So don't feel like you've got to use the tins. What we're going to do is we're going to do 20, well, we're going to do 20 seconds of circles forward. And then we're going to swap, so we're going to go backwards now. 
So just trying to draw little circles with our hands, not big circles. Ooh, you should feel your shoulders burning for this one, if they weren't already. Little circles, little pulses. Try and keep them in time with each other. Ooh, and rest, feel that burning, brilliant. So next we've got a shoulder press. So again, you're gonna stay standing, but I might have to just come down so you can see me within the frame. So you stay standing. You're gonna bring your tins up to your shoulders and then you're just gonna press them overhead. So we've got three, two, one, go. Pressing overhead and down. This is all we're doing, 40 seconds. Again, all our lower body should be remaining nice and tight and controlled, not really moving at all. And we're just focusing on moving our shoulders and arms. Core is tight throughout all of these movements. Basically, when we engage our core, that helps us keep up right. When we're doing any sort of muscle strengthening, you have to engage your core to keep us upright, but also to fight whatever force, the other forces we've got going on. Five more seconds here. Again, no rush. Brilliant, and rest there. Then we're gonna have bicep curls. So what we're gonna do is our arms, and our well, forearms and our hands, palm of our hands are gonna face outwards. And we're gonna curl these tins up towards our chest. So a little bit like the tricep extension, all we're doing is bending at the elbow. 40 seconds, go. So we're just bending at the elbow to pull these tins up. So if you see this from the side, again, my back is one, well, my whole body is one nice line. I'm not overextending my back. I'm not slouched forward. I'm nice and upright. Like I say, engaging that core to ensure that I'm staying nice and upright. We've got 15 more seconds. Like I said earlier, with fighting gravity on the way back down, so don't just let your arms drop from the top. You wanna to go down at the same speed in which you are raising your, your arms. Squeeze those biceps and rest. Brilliant, so for our next one, we have push-ups. So you can do these on your floor, on your knees, which you might not be able to see me, see me, or you can do them against the wall. So whatever is up to you, makes it a little bit easier doing them against the wall than on the floor, but choose your variation. So for these wall ones, we're gonna do 40 seconds. Hands are sort of just wider than shoulder width. And we're going to come down so our face gets nice and close to the wall and just pushing through those hands. So these hands are about chest height. These feel a little bit different from doing them on the floor. So it's 40 seconds here. You can also do these on a lower surface. You could do it on a table, a coffee table, sofa. That'll make it a little bit harder as your weight comes into it, your body weight. Keep going, keep pressing. And three, two, one, rest. So that is one round. We're gonna go for two more rounds of that, starting in 15 seconds time. That first movement being our side raises. So grab your tins again. We're gonna go another round, or another two rounds, starting in five seconds. Three, two, one, go. So side raises. So our shoulders are sort of nice and relaxed really. You know, you don't want to be tense. You don't want your shoulder to be up to by your ears. Shoulder blades are down. And we're just raising those tins up to the side. Again, to about sort of shoulder height really. Just focusing on keeping everything nice and controlled. Like I say, don't let your arms just drop. Should be controlled up and controlled down. Brilliant. So less than 10 seconds now before we change movement again. Three, two, one. You can have a little rest. We've got 20 seconds off. So shake your shoulders off. You might want to put your tins down for a couple of seconds. We've got front raises next. So we've done these ones already. It's just going to be raising the tins out the front instead of out the side like we just did. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So just frontal raises now. Raising those tins up to about chest height and slowly lowering. So, like I say, you don't have to use tins. You can just, you know, do it empty-handed and you'll still um, be getting, you know, muscle strengthening workout because 
you've got the weight of your arms to control. But ultimately, if you're finding that the tins are a little bit too easy, I know some people use milk jugs, but again, just making sure both milk jugs weigh the same and you've not got one that's half full and one that's half empty. Um, just making sure that you've got the same size objects really. Rest there. So, you know, some people, like I say, have at home um, weights. You can use small kettlebells, small dumbbells. We've got these tricep extensions next. So I'm going to come down to the floor so you can see what I'm doing. But you guys stay upright. It's going to be arms overhead. And we're bending at the elbow. Go. 40 seconds. Bending at the elbow and extending. I know lots of people are trying to use different items in their household. Um, so, you know, you don't even have to have uh, a t like a tin in each hand or a weight in each hand. I know some people that are filling a backpack up and they're using both hands to hold the backpack and you can do exactly the same with most of these movements. Obviously, maybe not on the side raises, but on the front raises and on these, you could be holding a bag or an object on both sides to get the same workout, but maybe added a little bit more to resistance to it. And rest. Brilliant. After that, we've got arm circles. So, like I say, you can do these with weights or without. You've got another 10 seconds or so to rest before they come around. And, you know, we were doing small pulses a minute ago. You might want to make that circle a little bit larger. We're going to go in two, one, go. So you can do 20 seconds here before we go in the other direction. You can make that circle a little bit bigger if you want to. But we want to keep it slow and we want to make sure that what we do forward, we're going to do the same back. So I'm going for a slightly bigger circle this time before I change. So 20 seconds and now we're going to go in the other direction. So I'm going for a slightly bigger circle, but still controlling it the whole time. And rest. Definitely feel that one. After that, we have our shoulder press. So we're going to press those weights overhead. I'm just going to come down to the floor so you can see them. But again, make sure that you're remaining standing. Uh, you're going to be standing throughout all these movements unless you're coming down to the floor for push-ups. So shoulder press. Three, two, one. Brilliant. 40 seconds here. Again, I'm not rushing these movements. I'm not trying to get as many reps done as possible in that time. I'm focusing on making sure that it's all nice and controlled. If you do decide to do these with heavier weights, you might want to just make sure that you've got a little bit more rest time. So you might do 30 seconds of work and 30 seconds of rest. Because when you increase the weight, it increases the difficulty. You won't be able to get the same amount of work necessarily done. So five more seconds and rest. Brilliant. Bicep curls next. And then we'll just have push-ups and then that'll be round two done. So biceps curls, remember, our arms and our palms of our hands are facing outwards. And we're going to curl those weights up towards our chest. Brilliant. 40 seconds, make a start. So curling up towards our chest. We're squeezing our bicep as we're doing this. On the side, squeezing this muscle here to raise and lower the weight. Brilliant. Make sure that bicep is squeezing at the top and it is sort of loosening as it's coming down, but it's still controlling that descent. Ten more seconds. And rest. So, tins down, we've got push-ups next. So, like I say, you can do these against the wall. You can do them on the floor. I don't know if I'm going to be in frame for actually doing them. But if we're doing them on the floor, you can do them on your knees. So I'm going to show you the knee version this time. Three, two, one. But, you know, if you're happy with going against the wall, that is fine. So, I'm on my knees. I'm bringing my chest and hips down at the same time and coming up at the same time. Coming in between my hands, pushing up. These can be quite difficult for a lot of people. So you might want to do five and then 
have a quick shake off and then do another five. Or, you know, just stick to doing them on the wall if you find them really difficult. If you are doing them on the floor, I'd recommend not doing what I'm doing, which is doing them on a hardwood surface. You might want a cushion under your knees or a rug or a carpet just to take some of the pressure off your knees. Brilliant. Rest there. So that is round two done. We have one more round to go and then we've done a good, what would that be, 21 minutes of solid arm work. So grab your tins. We're going again in 10 seconds. Starting with side raises. Three, two, one, go. So you should know what you're doing now. Talked you through 15 minutes or so already. Just hitting another round of it. Already done two. Just make sure that, you know, we find that when you start getting tired, everyone's technique tends to get a bit sloppy. So let's focus on keeping the same consistency throughout all of these movements. Making sure they're not getting any quicker or any slower. Making sure our body position is good. Just mimicking my stance potentially, making sure that you look exactly the same. Rest there. So we've got front raises next. So with all these standing movements, you want your feet to sort of be just under your hips, really. Um, you know, perfect for, you know, if you're sort of going to jump, this would be the sort of the width of your feet. So we've got front raises in three, two, one. So really you're maintaining the same body position throughout most of these movements. Like I say, all we're really moving most of the time is our arms, whether that's we're raising through the shoulder like this, or we're bending at the elbow like we do with the tricep extensions in a second. Brilliant work, 20 more seconds to go here. Again, making sure that they come down nice and controlled, and not just falling. Brilliant work, keep going. And rest, fantastic, shake it off. Got 20 seconds of rest, then we've got tricep extension, so I'm going to come down to the floor to show you. Like I say, you guys stay standing. The tins are going to start over the top of our head. Five seconds for tricep extensions. Three, two, one, go. So tins are over our head, arms are straight, and then we're bending at the elbows and then just extending them again. So what this is, is, is working a little muscle in the back of our arm called the tricep, which we don't really tend to use that much. And that's why, you know, push-ups and these sorts of movements are quite difficult. Brilliant. 15 more seconds. Maintaining that consistency. Five seconds. And rest, fantastic. So we have arm circles next. So remember, you don't have to use your tins. You can go bigger arm circles this time. I'm gonna go back to doing my small little pulsed arm circles. Five seconds, three, two, one, go. So arm circles, I'm gonna go for my 20 seconds forward. I'm gonna keep it as a small arm circle this time. You know, you might have gone bigger again. You might go bigger than what you did last time. I find that these little ones actually end up being a lot harder. So three, two, one, and then we're going to go other direction now. Also, I find that my shoulder tends to get a bit clicky when I go for too big an arm circle. So keeping it a bit smaller this time. Ten more seconds. Try not to be moving too much apart from those arms. It's been quite tempting to wobble around on this one. And rest. Fantastic. We've got those shoulder presses next. That's going to be here and pushing overhead. But you've got about another 10 seconds to go before we go again. Make the most of this rest. Shake off all your shoulders if they're feeling a little bit burny. We're going to go three, two, one, go. So pushing those tins overhead. Again, nice and controlled. I'm just going to come down so you can see it. Pushing up and lowering. Brilliant. 
So if you don't do a lot of upper body work anyway, you might find this quite challenging. And if you try and do this workout regularly with your tins of beans or whatever it is, you might find that actually things start getting a little bit easier. You could uh, increase the amount of work you're doing. So you might go for 45 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest. Brilliant rest there. Um, you might find you want to use an even heavier weight um, if you find that you're, you're getting better at these sorts of movements. And that's how we're going to build strength in these muscles. So we've got bicep curl next. We're going to go in five seconds, face those palms outwards. Three, two, one, bicep curl. Squeezing up, squeezing that bicep and lowering like all of the other movements, making sure that the speed on the way up isn't really any different from the speed on the way down. Fantastic, so we're nearly done. We've got 20 more seconds on bicep curls and then we've got our 40 seconds of push-ups and then we will be finished. And then we'll do a little stretch off. 10 more seconds. Nice work, five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. So tins down, push-ups next. So showing you them on the wall, showing you them on, on our knees, and you can also do a full body one so you, you can come up onto your feet, but they are quite challenging. So I'm gonna take us back to the wall ones just to demonstrate them again. We've got five seconds till we go. Three, two, one, go. So hands are shoulder width apart, so outside of our shoulders so that our body can come down between them. And the closer your feet are to the wall, the easier it is. If you come further away from the wall, you've got to put more weight into the action. So you go somewhere in between for a little bit of a challenge, but you know, not too fatiguing. Like I say, if you're too close to the wall, you might find that they're not doing much for you. So finding that, Perfect balance, really. Five more seconds. And rest there. Fantastic job. So we've done three rounds that. We are all done. So we're going to stretch off all our upper body now uh, to finish off. So it's not going to take too long. Um, we only really got to, you know, stretch off this sort of portion of our body. Um, so what we're going to start off with is just some um, arm circles like we did to start with. But no pressure of these. It's not about you know, trying to do 30 forward and 30 back. I actually find it's quite nice just to do a big shrug, one forward, one back, just to shake off any sort of fatigue and lactic acid that's built up in there. And then we're going to do the same sort of thing that we did to start. We're going to do a chest opener. So you're going to come and hug yourself and then you're going to open up nice and wide. You're going to hug yourself nice and wide. So from the side, you're trying to get those arms back as far as you can to get a stretch through the front of your chest here. Hug yourself and then nice and wide. Brilliant. So then we're just going to shake it off. So just do some little swings like this and then just shake it across your body. We're going to do these scissors. It's the same sort of thing as what we just did, like the chest opener. Just a little bit more dynamic. Brilliant. So now we're going to take our right arm and we're going to put it across our body and we're going to support that right arm across our body with our left hand. So from the side. And we just want to make sure that this right shoulder is nice and low. So at the moment I'm not really feeling too much. I'm going to drop the shoulder a little bit lower. You can see it's a little bit lower now. And getting that stretch through my right shoulder. And release. We're going to go to the other side now. So left arm across my body and sometimes like I say I don't feel this I feel like my shoulder's a little bit high so I'll just shake it off and pull it a little bit lower and already I can see that's you know a minute ago it was up near my chin and now it's a little bit lower holding there brilliant so we're going to stretch off um, a little bit of our shoulders so we're going to pretend that we're hugging a big beach ball and we're going to feel as if we're trying to separate our hands but don't let them so you've got a little bit of an arch to your back here, that's fine. As we're trying to sort of pull those hands apart, we're not letting them. And what you'll find is a nice stretch in between your shoulder blades here, as your shoulder blades are stretching. And then we're going to take those hands and we're going to put them behind our back now. So I'm going to put my lower back 
and I'm just going to try and draw my elbows together so it does push me forward a little bit um, but don't worry too much about that we're just trying to get a stretch again through the front of your chest here and then you can get quite tight there from doing push-ups so trying to pin those elbows for me I can't get them close at all a lot of people um, or people that are more mobile than me can, can get them a little bit closer than that brilliant and then I'm just going to um, bend down so you can see that you guys stay standing we're just going to clasp our hands and take them up overhead and then we're just going to bend to the right and to the left finally what we're going to do is tricep stretch so you know just working off um, any fatigue that's in the tricep with this muscle here from when we were doing the extensions earlier take that arm in the back of our head and then you're just going to support by holding on and you're going to try and reach that so if you've got your right arm one over the back of your head first you're going to reach that right hand try and creep it down your back try and reach down your back as much as you can and then release and then other side now so for example left arm over the back of my back and I'm trying to reach and then just by supporting the other hand I'm able to reach a bit further and get a bit more stretch in that tricep And release so we're all done thank you very much for watching that video and hopefully taking part and i'll see you in another 30 ways and 30 days video